Michael is painting personified. He's so passionate about painting, he should be named Mr. Parenting. Universal Parenting Clinic, subscribe now. Welcome to this week's edition of Universal Parenting Clinic. On this show today, I'll be discussing the relevance of parental control and firmness. A major problem in the world now is that parents are losing that bit of firmness where reasonable firmness is needful due to too much freedom and lack of parental discipline. Yes, I said on the topic of flexibility in parenting, there is need to be flexible reasonably in several areas of parenting in life generally. However, to be a success in parenting and for your child or children to be the total package and success story in life, it has become very crucial and essential for parents to be in control in certain specific areas. A child left to himself or herself may be heading towards destruction. You must always have a say. Those things that have the tendencies to derail your child cannot be ignored or left in his or her hands. Though kids think they know it all and tend to be smarter and even wiser than you, yet you must always have a say in what they do and whatever has the tendencies to affect them. The music they enjoy and listen to, the TV programs they watch, the clothes they wear, even their air course, up to their social networking must not be left without having a say, especially at their early stage, but up to adulthood to a certain extent. This is because if you don't have a say as a form of control, they will make wrong choices due to juvenile delinquencies or youthful exuberances. Children are sometimes manipulative, so say no to unreasonable compromise sometimes. Say no to manipulations and don't be intimidated, especially when you need to be firm in policies and decisions that are reasonable and necessary in the overall best interest of that child. The same position is inevitable in decisions that may be necessary to avert terrible consequences. As an example, if your child constantly exhibits traces of acting up to avoid going to school repeatedly, why it may be necessary to investigate the reason because such child may be a subject of bullying, sexual exploitation, harassment, physical assault, and so on which may require urgent attention, including sickness. But if you discover that it is becoming a ploy to enable the child time to play at home instead of going to school, then control it. Don't play along. If you discover that laziness is having negative impacts on your child's education or late sleep due to playing online games at night is hindering his study, with potential negative consequences, you may have to make firm decisions and measures to correct such attitude before it is out of hand and out of control. On such occasion, Michael is painting personified. He's so passionate about painting, he should be named Master Parenting. Universal Parenting Clinic, subscribe now. It will be inappropriate to dance to the tune of the child's music. At such moment, Firmness of action and decision is inevitable if you want the child to be a success and not a damaged product. That is the show this week on Universal Parenting Clinic. I believe strongly that through this Universal Parenting Clinic and with proper understanding of the book, Parenting Without Tears, together, we all can promote awareness in families and in the world. We can stop the tears from children, parents, and families. We can kick racism and fraud, incivility, corruption, wickedness, several additions, violence, and the series of antisocial behaviors out of our families and the whole world. And at the same time, we can promote all the positive desires and aspirations towards the well-being of the children, parents, and the world at large. Till I come your way again by God's grace. I am the parenting advocate in the house. Michael Benga Bibilari 
MGB. Mr. Pirenti, please adopt reasonable parenting control and exercise families with wisdom. Think parenting. Be positive in parenting. Talk parenting. Be passionate about parenting. Don't just be a parent. Stop portioning. Be a responsible parent. A real parent. A parent indeed. Parent where?